Good day everyone, it's Marge Burkell here and welcome back to SkinnyOnLowCarb.com. Today we're going to talk about a subject that comes up all the time, what doesn't, right, when you're trying to live a low carb lifestyle and that is the top reasons why you aren't losing weight while you're trying to live a low carb lifestyle or the dreaded stall. Now, first of all, be aware that Atkins describes a stall, a true stall, as not having any movement on a scale, on a measuring tape, in your clothes, seeing it in pictures for a full six weeks. So if you are really living a low carb lifestyle and adjusting when you find things that are stalling you, like alcohol sugars, alcohol, um, anything like that, you know, the Quest bars, the Atkins bars, all those kinds of things, then you really probably aren't going to have a true stall. But we are still going to go through the reasons and I have a cheat sheet with me so that I remember to uh, touch on all the points. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. First of all though, I want you to educate yourself. And to do that, buy an Atkins book, use it, highlight it, dog ear it. It's one of those books that I want you to beat up and read again and go back and check it out over and over again to make sure you've got it right. Because until you educate yourself, you can't break rules that you don't know that are rules. In my prior life, I was a professional artist and I would travel the country teaching my fiber arts. And people would want to jump off right at the very beginning and create the very contemporary art that I did. But I always encourage them to learn the basics of the style first so that when you are breaking a rule that you know it's going to work. So it, it just it helps in the long run. So educate yourself. Go on to the groups. Go on to our low carb challenge group on Facebook and ask questions. But first, check out the pin posts. There's lots of information. There's lots of links to our website that will answer most of those. And if we didn't cover it yet, we will. And post it to the wall. Just post it and uh, we'll get back to you. There are literally thousands and thousands of wonderful members that are there 24-7 because we are worldwide and just about every day of the year. So let's dive into some uh, reasons why you, um, you might be stalling. First of all, record everything, and I mean everything that passes your lips, whether it's food, drink, condiments, spices. Yes, spices even have carbs. These buggers hide everywhere. You'll find full carb counts charts on the website. Check it out. I never put anything into my grocery cart until I've checked out the carb uh, count first. Now, we normally do net carbs. So you're going to take the net carb in the item, you're going to subtract out the fiber, and you can, if you want, back out the alcohol, not the normal, but the alcohol sugars. And that will leave you with net carbs. Those are the carbs that are normally absorbable in your body and are going to cause you to retain and gain fat and weight. So Use my Fitness Pal. It's a great app, uh, but double check all of the um, the carb counts before you log them. Check out my blog post on using my Fitness Pal. I tell you in another video, uh, which I'll link below, how you can set it up for net carbs on uh, when you access it on a PC. So um, track everything. It really makes a difference then if something is stalling you you're going to know it you're going to be able to pinpoint it um, how about your medical condition is preventing you from losing weight there are some medical conditions like hypothyroidism that do inhibit weight loss so it's not going to keep you in the long run from losing weight with low carb just know that it might slow you down a little bit 
uh, you aren't drinking enough water. You should be drinking half of your body weight in fluid ounces of water each and every day to help flush out all the toxins, all the crap that we take into our body every single day. That will really make a big difference in, um, in losing weight and preventing a stall. Haha, <laughs> you're cheating too much is the next thing I have on my list. People talk about carb cycling, um, intermittent fasting, this, that, and the other thing. Egg fasts, fat fasts used to be a big one. I see it as yo-yo dieting. Don't plan cheat days. You're gonna, they're going to happen anyhow. You're going to go out with friends and they're going to have a birthday cake and you're going to take a bite or two or three or four. You're going to have that pasta that looks absolutely delicious. It's going to happen anyway. So don't, don't figure them into your diet because they're going to happen. And it's just going to cause you to yo-yo up and down, throw you in and out of ketosis. It's just not worth it. So, um, you're eating too many treats. I already mentioned this, the Quest bars, the Atkins bars, uh, the ice cream. You can have it, just have it minimally. It's all about education and allocation and just being careful on moderation. That's the other word I'm looking for. So education, allocation, moderation, it's all in those three things. You know, replacing those high carb goodies with low carb alternatives. If you have them handy, you're not going to need those um, cheat things like Quest bars and Atkins bars. Too many sweeteners. That's what's in the Atkins and um, Quest bars. So cut back on it. I know I have a big, huge bag from Costco of Splenda in my cupboard. But you know what? It lasts, the last one lasted me three years. So don't use them if you don't have to. Too many nuts. Oh my gosh. That's my downfall. I love nuts. I love peanuts. Just take a small handful. Or better yet, get a, a scale, a food scale, and weigh out an ounce. You'll be surprised how fast they add up if you don't do that. So um, go on the website. I have a great, very low-cost food scale that you can use that uh, you can order anywhere from Amazon. And uh, it's really a big help. Too much dairy. Uh, some people find that that is a biggie. You are um, you're drink, using too much heavy whipping cream, something like that. But if you are tracking it with your fitness pal, my fitness pal, you'll know whether or not that is the case. Too much protein. People think this is all about eating lots and lots and lots of meat. It really isn't. You should have, if you're, if you're really following macros, now I, I, for the longest time, for almost three years, all I did was track carbs, net carbs, that's it, period. But if you are going to follow macros, set up your MyFitnessPals for 5% carbs, 25% protein, and 70% fats, good fats, okay? Uh, not sure what good fats are? Go to the website, we have that listed. But 25% protein, that includes your meats. So, you know, if you eat too much of that, anything, again, again moderation, anything of, um, too much of anything is not a good thing. So if you are eating too many proteins, then it's going to, your body's going to say, Hey, wait, hold on. I don't need all that protein. It's, you know what it's going to do? It's going to turn that excess protein into glucose. I don't know about you, but excess glucose goes right to my hips and belly. So don't, don't uh, overindulge in proteins. It's low carb, high fat, not proteins. And you don't have realistic expectations. Uh, you are losing it. You just don't realize it. That's my last thing to say. What I want you to do is don't just concentrate on the scale. Make sure you're taking measurements. Make sure you're taking pictures. 
are you seeing it there and you know are you seeing it in pictures are you feeling it in your clothes you don't necessarily going to see it on your scale right away don't expect it don't hop on the scale every day if that's going to discourage you do it once a week join our low carb challenge and just weigh in once a week for accountability if that's what you'd like so you know you could be losing it you just don't you realize it are you um are you exercising a pound is a pound is a pound so a pound of fat and a pound of muscle are the same except that a pound of muscle takes up a whole lot less room in your body than a pound of fat again go to the accompanying article of this video and you'll see it right there in plain images so there are some ideas of why you might be stalling, um, not losing weight while you're living your low carb lifestyle. So, uh, are you, is any one of those, does this help you? Go to the website, go to the, um, the accompanying article that I'll link below for other ideas and a little bit more expanded version of this video for you. So I hope this helps. I know it's frustrating sometimes, but believe me, it really, if you really dig down in and you do it, you get into ketosis, start off with your two weeks of indu induction, get into good ketosis, and believe me, it works. I lost 30 pounds and three full dress sizes. I was bursting out of a 10. I really should have been into a 12. And I went down to a size four in and, and, and three of those dress sizes in my thir first 30 days. I maintain now at a size 4, 6. I just turned 61 years old on Sunday. If I can do it, I know you can do it. And I'm here to help. This is Marge Burkell for SkinnyOnLowCarb.com. I hope that you subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Stop by the website. You'll find the link in the, the description bar below. Until I see you next time, ciao for now.